and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give you a tour of this Google Sheets invoice tracker. It's available for purchase on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link to that in the description down below. This is just going to be a quick walkthrough of the entire spreadsheet. And then if you want a more detailed explanation of each section, I have a separate video on that. So I will leave the link to that in the description down below. So let's get into it. First, I want to explain the logic. So what I did is I have 12 different sheets right here, one for each month. And then within each sheet, you have one for each month, as you can see up here. And then for each sheet, you have two separate tables. So you have the invoices table, and then you have the invoice payment table. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter your invoices here. You will enter how much they owe you and the due date within this corresponding month. And then whenever you receive a payment for any of these invoices, you will enter that payment in this table right here and amounts will be added up. So for example, I have a payment for invoice A1, that's the invoice number I gave it for the client Kim's Corner. So it's this invoice right here. They owe me $1,000 and they paid $1,000. So it was automatically marked as paid. And then I have a second invoice for Kim's Corner, invoice A2, and she owes $2,000. And she has paid $200 towards that invoice in two separate transactions. So I was able to enter the day that was paid and the amount for each of those transactions. And as you can see, these $200 were automatically added up here to this amount paid for this invoice. And if I wanted to pay it in full, so I owe $1,800, I would just do $1,800. And now this invoice was paid in full. So that's the basic functionality of this. So you add your invoices here, and whenever you receive a payment for any of these invoices, you enter it here. It doesn't matter when, these transactions were made, what matters is the invoice that they're paying. So this pretty much replaces the just changing this manually to paid, unpaid or partially paid. You will only edit cells that have a white background within this invoice sheet. So as I mentioned, you have one sheet per month and then you have this invoices sheet. What this does is it's going to pull every single invoice from every single month and it's going to join it together in this one table. So you're going to be able to filter this table. You're going to be able to filter by client. You're going to be able to filter by month. And then you're also going to be able to select and unselect whatever payment status that you want to see for any specific filter. And then you can also sort by any column in ascending or descending order. And then if you want to quickly jump into a specific invoice, you can just click this link and it's going to bring you to the corresponding row of that invoice within its corresponding monthly sheet. And then you also have a payment sheet. So it's pretty much the same logic. It's going to join this payments table this invoice payments table from every single month and it's going to join it together in this one table that you can also filter and sort. And then you can also jump into the corresponding payments transaction by clicking on this link. So I quickly jumped into this transaction right here. Then you also get this dashboard that is going to pull totals for each month and it's going to show them on these small tables. And then you also get that same information all together in this table that is accompanied by this graph right here that is showing your amount due for the month and how much has been paid. And then each month gets this small progress bar showing what percentage of the amount due has been paid and what percentage is still owed. And then finally you get this clients table. So this is where you are going to save all your clients so you can create your drop downs. So those clients that you enter in that table are creating these dropdowns automatically. And then you also have this sheet where you can customize your entire template. It looks like a lot, but you really don't have to change anything unless you want to maybe change the way one label is named. So instead of going to every single sheet, let's say you don't want this to be called status, you want it to be status payments. So instead of manually going to every single sheet and changing that, you will just change it here and it will automatically change everywhere else. So you get your clients, your dashboard, your invoices filter, your payments filter, and you get 12 sheets, one for each month. 
it might look like a lot, but it's actually really simple because most of it is automated. So all you have to do is just add your clients right here and everything else is optional. And then each month you're going to add your invoices here. And then you're going to add your payment transactions here. And that's all you're going to edit. Everything else is read only. These two sheets are just meant for you to filter and just look up information, but never really touch anything here other than the filters. The same goes for this one. This is just for you to look up information. You're going to filter and you can sort, but you should never really edit anything here other than playing around with the filters. And then you have the dashboard, which is entirely read only. You should never ever touch anything here. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to purchase the template, you can find the link in the description down below. And if you want to watch a more detailed walkthrough, a more detailed example of how to use this template, you can find the link to that video in the description down below as well. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Etsy or send me an email. I will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.